students in this video we are going to prove the name and pearson lemma the statement of the lemma is if w is the critical region of size alpha such that w is equal to set of all x belonging to the sample space such that l1 by l0 is greater than k here k is a positive constant and w bar is the set of all x belonging to s the sample space such that l1 by l0 is less than k then this w is the best critical region for testing a simple hypothesis theta equal to theta not against a simple alternative hypothesis theta equal to theta 1 see in this statement uh, if w is framed like this this w will be the best critical region that is what we have to prove i am taking numbering this as equation 1 and this as 2 remember don't forget to do this okay follow carefully uh, very simple steps and very interesting proof now let us start the proof okay what is given it is given that w is the critical region of size alpha then what does it mean we know that probability of rejecting h0 that is x belongs to rejection region which is otherwise called critical region okay rejecting h0 when h0 is true is alpha right that can be written as integral over w l0 dx let us have this is 3 okay and probability of rejecting h0 when h1 is true that is when probability of rejecting h0 when h0 is false that is the correct decision right we call it the power of the test 1 minus beta probability of x belonging to w under h0 is alpha x belonging to w and when h1 is true is 1 minus beta okay he this is the probability that x belongs to rejection region that's critical region when h0 is true this is called alpha when h1 is true it becomes 1 minus beta so you write it as integral over w l1 dx let us have this as the fourth equation A number like this don't change okay now <coughs> Uh, to prove that W is the best critical region, I consider one other critical region. Let W1 be any other critical region. <coughs> any other critical region of size alpha 1 which is less than or equal to alpha. Okay. Now I am considering one other critical region. It means what probability of x belonging to w1 under h0 is called alpha1 that is integral over w1 l0 dx. Let us have it as 5. Probability of x belonging to w1 when h1 is true is called 1 minus beta1 that can be written in the integral form as integral w1 over w1 l1 dx let us have it as 6 okay that's all now we are going to start the actual proof of uh, this theorem for which i am going to give you three clues see you are going to consider three points okay considerations it is not uh, going to be the single flow through throughout First, you should consider one point. See, consider alpha 1 less than or equal to alpha. This point I am considering, I am starting here. Okay. What is alpha 1? You have it here from 5. And where is alpha? You have it in 3. Okay. Right. Uh, before doing this, let us have one other idea about this W and W1 w is a critical region and w1 is also a critical region these two regions may overlap or may not overlap in the sample space i am going to give this proof under the complicated assumption that these are overlapping okay this is a this is b and this is c 
so what is w it is a union c and w1 is b union c in the sample space they share a common area if that happens still is w a best critical region that is the question we want to answer okay from 5 and 3 see what is alpha 1 5 says integral over w1 l0 dx is less than or equal to alpha is in 3 right integral over w l0 dx that is integral over what is w1 b union c l0 dx is less than or equal to what is w a union c l0 dx you can leave this c on either side so you have integral over b l0 dx is less than or equal to integral over a l0 dx this is the inference you get from this consideration okay after getting this inference don't forget to reverse the inequality only then your flow will be easy okay so you reverse this inequality integral over a l0 dx is greater than or equal to integral over b l0 dx just reverse okay and get it highlighted this will be useful in your next step okay now first consideration is over first uh, inequality is also over have it in mind now let us go to the second step second consideration consider consider the one that is one in one we say on w l1 by l0 is greater than k getting it that is on w l1 is greater than k l0 yes that is integral over w l1 dx is greater than k into integral over w l0 dx right right fine see you have integral over w l1 dx is greater than k into integral over w l0 dx if this inequality is true for w it should be true for a which is a part of w right so you can write integral over a l1 dx is greater than k into integral over a l0 dx but what about k into integral over a l0 dx what about integral over a l0 dx you have some information in your previous finding it says it is greater than or equal to integral over b l0 dx use that now so what happens integral over a l1 dx is greater than k into integral over a l0 dx and that is greater than or equal to k into integral over a l0 dx is greater than or equal to integral over b l0 dx right now consider these two for the first and last terms alone you have this yes now get the inequality reversed get it reversed okay as usual so second consideration is this and second finding is this okay first consideration first finding you used it in the second consideration and you got this you have reversed also don't forget to reverse only then the proof follows smoothly okay now go to next consideration consider 3 what is there in 3 sorry consider 2 what is there in 2 l1 by l0 is less than k on w bar that is on w bar l1 is less than k l0 if something is true is true for w bar w not the area which is not in w excluding w it should be true for this b right because this b is not in w w bar b is a part of w bar so you can write on b this is true this is true for all w bar means it is true for b also so integral over b l1 dx 
is less than integral over b l naught dx k into okay now see here you have something use that it is less than k k into integral over b l naught dx is less than or equal to what integral over a l1 dx okay now you consider these two alone integral over b l1 dx is less than or equal to integral over a l1 dx leave the term at the center which is not useful for us um, uh, for the for our inference so take first and second term now if this is true then if you take union again the inequality will be maintained but what is b union c what is b union c w1 and what is a union c w so integral over w1 l1 dx c from sorry l1 6 and c4 c in 6 it says integral over w1 l1 dx is nothing but 1 minus beta 1 in 4 it says integral over w w l1 dx is nothing but 1 minus beta so this 1 minus beta 1 is the power of w1 this is the power of w so the power of w1 is less than power of w what is the inference w is the best critical region right so remember carefully you should number the two equations in the statement also one and two and then uh, you write whatever you understand w is the critical region of size alpha so write what is alpha what is 1 minus beta and then you take some other critical region of size alpha 1 whose psi, who, which is less than or equal to alpha and write uh, alpha 1 and 1 minus beta 1 then you consider this derive the inference then consider 1 derive the inference consider 2 see this is one consideration derive the inference you are getting the result ok this is the way you can easily prove the Neyman Pearson lemma fine thank you